All right, everybody, today we are going to do a smoked brisket. And actually, it's going to take us about two days to smoke it. I've already kind of applied some mustard to this one side. Um, I'm going to kind of tell you about it quick. Here is a nose of the, this is the full brisket. So it's got the nose and the flat. The nose is where it comes out pointed. And the flat, it looks more of like a square once it's all laid out. So what you would normally do is I would trim this up and I would take a lot of this fat off. That's really thick, dense. Uh, white clear white fat you don't need that on here you've got a lot of fat running through the grains of the meat so you don't need a whole lot of fat that's extra because that's just going to add to your cooking time this thing started out at about 18 pounds and i took off about six pounds of fat off of it so now i'm down to about 12 pounds and got it pretty leaned out um so yeah again just add a little bit of mustard to this just to get it nice lathered up and this will help get our rub to stick to it. So I'm just going to sprinkle with rub. I like it a little extra. So I'm going to do kind of a thick layer of rub on this. Don't be afraid to peel back that where you said kind of separated the nose and the flat together. Don't be afraid to season that. Get that all nice padded in. Then you're going to do is flip this over. And do the other side. And this will help get a nice crust on your brisket. If you were just to put seasoning on it, it wouldn't get a really nice thick crust. You wouldn't get the burn ends that everybody talks about are so good. All right, some more seasoning. This is probably one of the, my most favorite things to cook. It takes a very long time, so a lot of people get intimidated by it. But remember, you always gotta, you gotta take your time with it. If you don't have the time, don't make it right away. All right, let me wash my hands here. It's a messy job. So I usually get this seasoned up at about, about six to eight hours before I'm going to put it on. I can even do it and let it sit overnight so it's ready. And then I'll pull it out a little bit, like about a half hour, hour out of the fridge before just to kind of get the temp down on it, get it more closer to room temp. And now, like for me, like I've got those big boxes of saran wrap. So I'll saran wrap my whole table, get it all done on there. It cleans up the mess nice. And then I just wrap it back up in the saran wrap, nice and tight. And I'll let this sit in the fridge for, I think I'm going to put this on at about midnight tonight and have it ready for about 6 o'clock for dinner tomorrow. So I'll come back when we are ready to put it on the smoker. All right, everybody. Welcome back. It's about 11 o'clock at night, and we are going to get this uh, brisket going for about, a, we'll have it ready about 4 to 5 o'clock at night uh, tomorrow. So... We're gonna let this uh, cook all night long, and we're gonna, all I got left to do on it is put, uh, put the probe into it. I'm gonna put it in the fattest part of the brisket, as you can see there. And here, right here, this line here, that is where I pulled back that fat and cut it out. So I want that up on the very top because that's got still part of the fattiest part of the meat on it. So now all we're gonna do is let this sit. We're gonna come back and check it out at about seven o'clock in the morning. Make sure we still got enough pellets in the pellet grill to keep it going. This will probably cook until about four to five o'clock tomorrow night. And we also got to be ready. We've got our pellets ready. So when we wake up at about seven o'clock in the morning, we'll check it out and we're gonna let this cook till about 170 to 180 degrees. We'll find out then when in the stall point is. When you're cooking a brisket, it'll stall out and the meat won't cook, it won't get hotter at a certain point. So at that point, when we notice that the, the temp of the meat does not increase, we'll wrap it in tin foil and we'll let it cook to 201 to 202 degrees. That way all the that fat that's in those grains of the meat will melt, melt down and give you a nice juicy uh, brisket. So, all right, we'll see you at about seven, eight o'clock in the morning. 
All right, good morning, everybody. It is now about 8.30 in the morning, and we've got the smoker still going at about 2.50. I did wake up about 6 o'clock, and I checked the pellets, so I did load them back up. And now, we're gonna check on this piece of brisket. It's looking pretty good here. Look at that, huh? Nice little char on the outside, getting nice and crispy. And it is now at like 190 degrees. But from now until that 200 mark is the very crucial part, because you're gonna to wanna to really get this, it smells so good, you're gonna to wanna to take it off, leave it on. Hey, get it to about 201 to 202 degrees if you have the time. It's well worth it. Do not pull it off until it's at least 201 degrees because then it'll be all melted down. It'll be so good. It'll be, you could take a big chunk of it and just, it'll be nice and moist and great piece of meat. If you pull it off before that, it's gonna have to be really shaved thin. I can pull it off now and be shaved thin and it's still it's gonna be a little tough, but still pretty good flavor, but I'm gonna let it go. I've got the time. I'm gonna do it till 201 degrees and uh, We'll come back and check in a little while. All right, everybody, we're back outside. It's been about another two hours, and the brisket has stalled out. It's stalled out about 185, 190 degrees. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to saran wrap. I'm going to put it in tin foil, wrap it back up, throw it back on the smoker until we hit that 201, 202 degrees. All right, we'll see you back in a little while. All right, so now we're back. We took this uh, brisket off the smoker. It was about 202 degrees. I let it sit on the counter for about 35 minutes to let it kind of cool down and get all that juices sucked back into the meat. And so now we're going to cut it, and we're going to cut it against the grain of the meat. So the grain of the meat on this flat is going diagonally this way, so I'm going to cut it this way. I'm going to cut it at an angle. So there's that nice burnt end that everybody likes. And I'm just going to cut some nice slices on this get them nice and thick slices or grab a piece here and give it a shot and see what everybody thinks that's some tender meat mm. that's got some good smoke flavor you can see the smoke ring on it this has been smoking for about 12 hours at 250 degrees. If I would have been 225, I would have been about a pound and a half an hour. So that would have put me at about 18 hours of smoking. They sped it up a little bit by doing 250. That way we can have it for a lunch date today. Well, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share.